as indicated by my last video, I'll be uh, looking at replacing this uh, condenser water pump today. Um, the bearings or something is starting to go in the motor. Uh, it makes, makes a bunch of noise and uh, uh, surface temperature is really high on here. Uh, so we're going to take it to a motor rebuilder, but we obviously have to uninstall it to be able to do that. So that one got, the motor at least, got, on that one got replaced not too long ago, so that's, that makes our life, uh, we don't have to, we don't have to deal with that one at least, so we have the, we have the easy one here today, so, um, hopefully should be able to reuse all this wire, hopefully nothing's happened here. Someone has definitely fucked with this box a little bit, so, um, that's unfortunate, but, uh, probably won't matter, everything up to this point should be good. As I mentioned in the last video, I actually did a minor repair to this. I strapped this conduit down and replaced this fitting, um, but I put some screws. I, I think there's just like one screw in there too, but uh, it's, it's pretty rough. But um, so this whole motor may end up getting replaced. I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that's that's up to the experts at the, at the motor and pump rebuilder. So um, we're just going to be unbolting it. Just this flange and this flange here and disconnecting it electrically and uh, unbolting it from its little cradle here or sled rather and uh, we'll be loading the whole motor and pump assembly up in the back of my truck and uh, delivering that tomorrow to the rebuild shop and then hopefully we'll be putting it back in next week put some new gauges on as well I might move that one up to up to there because I got defective the gauge there this one's still working then I'll get two new matching gauges for this so Try to get you some footage of it. This is a pretty nice disconnect switch, but you always want to go ahead and check it anyways, huh? We're going to be dead. Check. Always want to make sure the circuit's dead so you aren't, right? old uh, cabinet here, the motor starter. Now we got the electrical disconnected. This box is really loose. And move the lift back there. And now we're going to disconnect the flange connection. Alright, everything's unbolted now. Uh, all of them came loose pretty easily, except for this one. We had to get a little, yeah, little yeah, sawball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is there one still in there? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're almost almost done though. Uh, and then uh, unbolted from here as well. So then we're uh, next step will be bringing the lift table over here and loading the whole thing. Oh, we have to do undo these bolts too. Forgot about that. But it'll be ready to go on the cart next. All right. The pump is removed. These uh, these studs are in kind of rough shape. You might have to rework those somehow. This sled is I don't know, kind of funky looking, to be honest. But we're gonna load this in the truck now. We're gonna go with all new hardware on the pump. Uh, these ones seem fine on the suction side here. They're uh, obviously custom custom made. See the grinder marks there, uh, but these ones, uh, we had one that was actually so rusty you didn't have to cut it off, uh, but yeah, the, the, these ones, these bolts are definitely crustier on the discharge side, so this is going to go with all new hardware. You always should try to do that when you can anyhow. Um, yeah, and then uh, probably can reuse these uh, these kernies here, uh, those will be, be just fine, so. and then I'll uh, get a new set of pressure gauges.